Welcome to Unconventionally Python. This presentation is about file input and output. More specifically, today we'll examine how we can send input data from a file into a program. In order to use data as input to a program when the data reside in a file, we should connect the Python program with that file. We call this connecting pipe file handle and we give it a name. I decided to call this handle DFF, which is a mnemonic acronym for data from file. But you can call it whatever you want as long as it is a valid name applying the same rules as those for naming variables. In addition to the name of the file handle, we have to provide the name of the file that contains the input data and, in a sense, the direction of the data flow. All of these processes are performed by a Python assignment statement. Here is an example of such an input statement. DFF is the name I gave to this file handle. Open is the method that connects to the specified file that contains the input data. R, which stands for reading, indicates the mode and in a sense the direction of the data flow from the file into the program. After the file handle has been created and connected to the input file, we can read the data from the file and send them to the program. Please note that if we do not explicitly specify the location of the input file, the system will assume that the file resides in the same folder or directory as the Python program. If the file cannot be found for whatever reason, the system will terminate abnormally with an error message. We input the desirable data into the program using the read or read line methods and here is an example. DFF is the name of the file handle. Read line is the method that reads a line, an entire line from the file and assigns that string to the variable on the left of the assignment sign. After we have finished with the input data, we should instruct the operating system to disconnect the input file from the program and close the file. DFF is the name that I have given to the file handle. Close parenthesis is the method that requests from the operating system to disconnect and close the file. That's all you need in order to get data from a file into a program as input data. Let's see a Python program that gets input data from a file in more details. Let me provide you with some background information about the Python program and the code that you will see in a second. Let's assume that we have a file called play score and that file contains the name and the score of a player and we want in this program to ask the a new player if he or she would like to get and see the score that has been registered and recorded in the file. And if the new player says yes, then we will see the score. If the player says no, in theory, he or she will continue with the game without the name and the score of the previous player being display. So now that you have the background information, let's take a look at the Python code. At line 6, the code is asking the operating system to open uh, the file play score for the purpose of reading data into the program. Line 8 is asking the user uh, if he or she wants to get the score information from the file. Let's go to line 13. Line 13 executes lines 14, 15, and 16 if the user has answered yes, otherwise it skips and executes line 18. If the user has said that he or she wants to see the scores, line 14 open reads rather the a line from the file, and that line is a big sequence of characters. 
That's how it is seen by the program. And that sequence of characters, that string, is assigned to the variable txt line. We display on the screen that string. And then also the next line will display, OK, let's start the game. But if the user does not answer yes to the question, to the input of line 8, we will skip all that, read line code, and we'll go to line 18 and simply will display, OK, let's start the game without the name and the score. So, and that's all the programming does for demonstrating purposes. I'm going to run the program and I'm going to answer yes. And I'm going to add next, I will run it again, answer no and see what the implications of those answers will be. Before I run the program, though, I just open the playscore.txt file using the notepad, and we see that that file contains only one line with the name of the previous player and her score. And depending on the answer of the user, the system may or may not read that data from this file. Now we see the program running and is asking, do you want to get the score from the file? And initially I'm going to answer no. Hit the enter key and says, OK, we will start game without the name because we skipped uh, the part reading from that file. So I'm going to run the program again. I'm running the program. Now I'm going to answer yes. And the system because the condition on line 13 was true, went to the open file, read that line, and delivered that line as data. And that's why of line 15, when we print, we see the name of the previous user and her score. And then, of course, the fixed uh, string, which says, OK, we will start the game. So here is the result of this program up here. And I hope now you have a better understanding the need of using sometimes input that comes from a file and how we can accomplish such a thing. We will see more examples related to file IOs. Thank you for watching Unconventionally Python, the topic of data input from file. See you soon.